Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, can I apologize real quick for the massive delay in videos? Um, you know, if I get behind on one video, I get behind on like the next five, so I have to take more time to do this, so, you know. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, sorry if my internet is slow for this. Uh, I'm downloading Final Fantasy Type-0, so, got that out of the way. Heart of the Beast is here, the final banner in the Gold Festival. Um... Hold on. My dog just opened my door with his nose. That's what that was. I was signaling him out. Uh, anyway, we have... We have Cecil's Excalibur, Paladin Force, five ranged physical holy attacks to all targets, haste and burst mode, attach holy, physical holy damage to one enemy, restore a martyr amount of HP to the user, and two physical holy attacks to all allies. So this is pretty much the king of holy soul breaks. And this seems like the exact opposite of Garland's Burst, which is... I think it's the same thing, just for Dark. Um, so if you need a Holy Soul Break, absolutely, you know, make an effort to get this. This seems really good. Uh, Zidane's the Ogre, Stellar Circle 5. Six ranged physical wind attacks to all targets. Lower their wind resistance, haste and burst mode. Physical damage to one target, lowers attack a large amount, raise attack a large amount. And then the same thing, just for defense. And the defense is raised a moderate amount. So this is pretty... This... Uh, pff, okay. Uh, YouTube Gaming glitched. Uh, this seems really good to use in conjunction with Arc Blast. Maybe not so much for the mug defense, but... Um... Yeah, that seems really good. Echoes Seraphic Rod. Hasting Gift. Shell and Haste all allies and raise the resistance a moderate amount. So, this is a Hastega. And a Shellga. And a resistance bump for Final Fantasy 1. Not much else to say about it. It's pretty good, though. It's a unique haste go, at least. Uh, Red 13's Magic Combs, Stardust Ray. 10 ranged physical attacks to random targets, and shell to all allies. This one's a little less than stellar, because the damage is kind of low, but... The shell is... You could also just pack Shelga, so the Soul Break really is not that good, but... It's still worth it. Ah, we've seen this one again. Uh, Quinna's Golden Hairpin, Frog Drop, 4 ranged physical attacks to all targets, and plus 50% attack to the party. Um, this seems really underrated to me. This just seems really good. I don't know why. Okay, god damn it. Ishtala's Omni Rod, Ethereal Pulse, Protect Shell and Major Region to all allies. <sighs> I don't want to 11 draw. I do not want to 11 draw. And I... I... Mmm. I can't. I can't and I won't. I will not 11 draw. You will not sway me. I'm gonna save, in the, I'm gonna save my myth roll for what I said I'm gonna save it for. No surprise, 11 draws. God damn, I want that. And Mog's Heroic Scarf, Heroic Harmony. Lower the attack and magic of all targets by 50%. That's pretty good, just no damage. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna 11 draw. No way. 100 gem draw and that's it. That's all you're getting out of me. All right. Maybe I'll get Omni Rod anyway. Maybe I won't. Three star. Okay. So, yeah, this is a good banner to draw on. This is actually pretty damn good. Uh, if if you're a little confused about what banner to draw on, I think you should draw on this one. This one has a lot of good soul breaks. But uh, for now, I will see you guys later.